Well, how did it go today? Oh, it went great today. What did you like about it? Um, I like the low-key nature of things. Are you concerned about a lack of momentum going into the uh, playoffs if you guys don't win them? There's nothing we can do about it except play better tomorrow. That's all. And, you know, I told these guys that we played better for, you know, 42, 44 minutes, something like that last night. Uh, so that's that's a good sign. I mean, uh, you know, we have signs that we're starting to recover. The ailing patient is starting to recover. How does this team compare? I mean, have you had others that mm -hmm. have had this many peaks and valleys? And there, yeah. there seems to be no middle ground. Yeah, I have. When? Uh, I think I told uh, um, your, you know, elected group here of pundits that, uh, you know, in 92, we had a couple of devastating losses, maybe not five, you know, not one week where we went and had a bad time. But I was concerned the players said, you know, it's just the end of the season and we'll get it back when we get in the playoffs. And, and we did. We got it back when we got in the playoffs. And, um, but it, it's a product of having played a ton of games and been at the championship level for two years. And, Knowing what really the goal is is that second season, and you know there's some subliminal part of them that just you know is still giving into you know we gotta have to save it for the best, which is later on I think, and, and go from there. And uh, you know at their age it's understandable. Are you expecting San Antonio to go full tilt tomorrow night? No, let's see. I would be surprised if they did. Um, you know, knowing you know Popovich, I think he'll play everybody. They'll stay in rhythm and everything. I don't know if they'll go for trouble. The guys that play will play harder. They got a deep team. They have a deeper team than we do. So it's going to take something from us to to play at that level and then finish out the season the next night against Sacramento. Does it matter more in terms of not playing great right now going into the playoffs? In terms of how that play could be in the playoffs, or that you've given up some of the ground in the standings, sort of the practical things, which is well, more important. Here's the problem. The problem is, is that uh, there, there are habits that have been formed. There are bad habits, and you know you want to repeat those. So today we went through the uh, processes that you know are creating that, where you know we and you know guys are making one effort but not the second effort. So our rotations were misaligned or misspent, and our energy was misspent in that process last night in critical times. Um, and then the the um, the little stuff that we have mentally is about focusing and just, you know, getting focused on uh, where we're at. So I think we filed, you know, jump shooters last night, three-point shooters last night, and also gave up a lot of, uh, you know, inordinate type of things that we don't have to do to, to set ourselves at the edge. So those are the two things we're working at right now is the second effort and then the mental preparation. Andrew had expressed the sentiment that he felt like having full court practices would help, I guess, alleviate some of those problems. Is this, like, you know, deep into the season, what, what's your overall philosophy? I'd love to do it. I would love to do it. But not didn't today? Or? We, we don't, we're not physically capable of doing it, but you know, it'd be great to do it. Just so because you have too many games right now? Well, we have. Well, Matt's he not feeling well and can't could play today. And Steve's sick. Uh, you know, Kobe's obviously not going to play in the you know the back-to-back -back things. I'd like to rest Powell, and uh, you know, Fish is, definitely doesn't need to go out there and run around the court at his age to, to do some things to, to get himself in rhythm without a play. But for the rest of the guys, they really they really need it. But that only leaves eight or seven guys to play. So unfortunately, you know, if we had E Banks or even D, Derek Character, we'd probably Strap them up and play a little bit today. But we just we just can't do it to the you know the, the length of the season and the physical nature of our team. At what point did those bad habits you were talking about start coming into play? Over the last last Sunday. Yeah, we had a bad week. We had a really bad week. Sunday to Sunday was kind of bad. But I was just wondering if anything started to creep up even while you were still winning. Uh, we thought the Utah game. You know, it was was uh, you know kind of after the Dallas game that back to back it was kind of a a game in which we didn't play very well for large periods of the game and then had to really come out and bust it up third quarter to get back in the ball game and win it. 